Hey, greetings to everybody out there. This is Tennessee Dan, the scuba man. I wanted to tell you, I have found, come across by just accident, I guess you might say, I have found a product that some folks could be interested in. I know that I feel intimidated by just holding the, the container. I don't know if you can see it or not. But this is a DNA remover. It'll take the DNA off of anything. I I took the trouble. I've read all the little, you know, this writing. Somehow that they get on here, this tiny, you know, even with my trifocals. Uh, I can barely, barely, if I strain real hard, I can make it, you know, I can make this out. So I read it a minute ago. This stuff is so lethal that it's a federal law, you can get charged with it if you use it in a non-consistent manner with the instructions. That's the one thing I found just incredible about this product right here. And it's got so many warnings and stuff on it. Of course, it's got your kitty warnings. And it's talking about how terribly hazardous it is to humans and domestic animals. So. Uh, I was reading down here about the first aid, and from what I can tell, uh, you ain't even supposed to get it on your skin or anything. You get burned. If you get it in your eyes, you're going to lose whichever one or both if you get it in there. The, I guess the one that really caught my attention is if you swallow it, you're done for. It just pretty much says, uh, I guess, it doesn't say exactly how much you have to swallow to do this, but it says you're pretty much going to be unconscious in no time. So, uh, the other thing that's kind of funny about this to me, and it's funny, it ain't funny, but, you know, there's been a lot of situations that I'd say a lot of fellas wish they knew about this in recent times, and, uh, you know, in past times. I don't know how, uh, how recent this stuff has been on the market, been manufactured, but, you know, that's how they catch these uh, people that do these dirty, nasty, terrible deeds is they find their DNA on pizza crust or on a can or on a lid or on a spoon or on a piece of bread or whatever. They can find DNA on about anything now. So you can only imagine. And what I want to know, too, is how would you ever use this stuff? You know, it says something about gloves. Well, if it's as hazardous and toxic and all that stuff, how can you even use it with gloves? It'd have to be some really... You know, they have to be chemical gloves, I'm sure. Totally chemical resistant gloves. But anyway, there's some things on here about how it kills hepatitis and HIV virus. And there's one on here that I thought was, uh, I'd never even heard of it before. It kills some kind of, here it is. It kills a duck hepatitis. I don't really care if a duck's got hepatitis, you know. I mean, I don't eat, I don't eat duck and I'm not around ducks and we don't raise ducks. So, you know, who cares? I'm sorry, but who cares what duck's got hepatitis, you know? Uh, and I don't know how in the world you're supposed to chase them down and grab them to treat them with this. Uh, and so, if a duck's got hepatitis and there's this many warnings on it, ain't you going to kill it if you treat it with it? You know, so anyway, this stuff actually says it's uh, manufactured in uh, the state that we're in, so that's kind of incredible in itself. If you can imagine uh, people around here be smart enough to come up with some of this stuff. But it gives all kinds of uh, directions on how to use it. It says that you can swab mop and uh, you can put it in a sprayer. And, you know, one thing that's kind of cool, too, is uh, depending on the surface, you know, that you're going to try to get your DNA off of or somebody else's DNA or yours and their DNA, uh, is uh, the surface has to be wet for so long a time. Well, if you're trying to get rid of your DNA unless you're in a really remote location, and you're trying to get a, get away quick, it says the surface has to remain wet, you know, for like 20 minutes on some of these uh, applications. Ain't a whole lot of people going to want to hang around 20 minutes breathing this stuff and sitting there waiting on the authorities to show up while you're trying to do a, a DNA clean. But anyway, it's got all kinds of active ingredients in it that I have never heard of in my life, and almost every one of them ends up with the word chloride. So anyhow, it's uh, here. Here's a uh, here's the effectiveness of it. Ninety-nine point nine one four percent effective. 
But, you know, that's only got to be if you use it in the exact uh, uh, instructions, of course, that they give you on here. And, of course, they've done, you know, all kinds of super expensive, I'm sure, lab experiments, making sure that all these duck uh, hepatitis symptoms and stuff, you know, I, can you imagine dragging ducks in and trying to wipe them down with this stuff or whatever they do to them to get them straightened out? But anyhow, I was also really, I, I always like this part. This is one of my favorite parts, too, is that, uh, you know, if this stuff's so bad, and let's say it sits on the shelf for a long time and, you know, you know there ain't any, any uh, cause to worry about cleaning your DNA up, uh, what are you going to do with the leftovers? You know, it says, number one, it says, don't be changing from this bottle and pouring this into anything else. Well, you know, if, if it's still in this bottle and you, 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 it's time to get rid of it because it's starting to get all crusted up and the lid's turning all yellow around it and everything and it looks like battery acid on top. What are you going to do with it? And I just love this. Now, it's got so many warnings that it's just about to make you call the poison control center just thinking about it. But it says just to wrap it up. Wrap it up in what? What are you going to wrap it up in? It just says wrap it up. Wrap up and discard in trash. Well, that sounds real safe, don't it? What kind of trash? You know, office trash, bathroom trash. You're going to have to haul it to the dumpster yourself. And what about the poor people that's having to deal with sorting this stuff out these days? You know, where they're all into this... Uh, Sort stuff out and recycle and all this crap. What if some, one of them tards, you know, get a hold of some of this right here and they spill it on themselves and they don't know any better. It's going to eat your arm off. So anyway, I don't know. I just thought this was an extremely interesting product to bring to you and let you know that there is a such thing out there as DNA cleaner. So, you know, I guess if you poured this on the tips of your fingers or you uh, put it in a little bowl and stick your fingers down in it, I guess it'd get rid of your fingerprints. So... You know, that's probably multi-purpose usage for uh, this product. But anyway, if you just want some of it, get in touch with that company right there. Uh, you know, I, I'm not really positive on if I want this stuff around my house all the time. But uh, it's uh, it's kind of heavy, so you'd have to have a reason to clean your DNA to carry this around with you for very long. But anyway, if you're going to use it, I'd, I'd dress out like, you know, I was, I was on the moon or something. So uh, anyway... This is, uh, this is Tennessee Dan, the scuba man. I'm going to be closing with, uh, uh, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Here's to you, DNA Cleaner.